Hello guys, this is Paul GC, and today I will show you what I promised my tutorial for my new quarry color correction. So first thing I will do here is just put my intro as you can see, then show you what my preview settings are for the project properties. you can see I have a 32 beat but um, you can change it to 8 if you want I usually use 8 I just wanted to show like a lot of detail for the color correction so I use 32 here you can see this uh, this is just default settings you don't really have to just switch anything so yeah now next thing you want to track your video uh, you first want to click you know find your video once you do that uh, you find your video put it in the track line and go to it next thing you want to do is take off maintain and disable resample that will make your video be way more easier to work with and it will look nicer now as you can see here uh, I fast forward a little bit and um, I will try to find um, a good part where I could stop the video so that way you can check how the color correction looks but as you can see I cannot find a nice place to stop alright let's fast forward one more time hold on Give me a minute, and we'll stop around here. Yep, stop around here. Now, what you want to do next? Um, it's go to your panel crop, event pan crop, and I have mine already set up, which is HD. You know, you just kind of take care of those black spots. Now, I already have the color correction set up in a FX package so you won't get to see me put one by one but as you can see I have those set up on my color correction and that'll be it you know as you can see in the preview you can already see the color correction now what you can see here is this is a new fl blue film look which is something that you could either look up for finding a free version like I did or uh, you can go and buy it so this does not come with Sony Vegas for anybody who wants to know this does not come with Sony Vegas it's an add to it so yeah just um, kinda showing you what is going on there and as you can see here you just add the color character but you don't have to make up anything you don't have to switch any numbers there's already a setup for taking care of that one now brightness and contrast I already had one this was back then for the uh, that color correction I have in the uh, uh, what's it called well whatever anyways uh, yeah I'm just browsing really fast through here just so you know um, so there you can get to see the numbers you can pause the video if you like uh, for this is the stuff contrast I already have mine as you can see um yeah so here those are set up to be in zero so I'd suggest you don't change them unless you want to try something different for this one it you it's a must okay you must put it in blur if you want to keep it a little you know nice look to it I mean you don't have to you can always put a different exterior effect but I would like to use blur and you want to make it a rectangle because if you use an eclipse it's gonna look like yeah it's just not gonna look as nice now you wanna keep those in their default settings and yeah that's just about it for the color correction now I'll just add some music to it like I did in the video 
kind of cut up the clip set it up back up a little bit so you can get to see the color correction again and there you go as you can see that's my color correction and as you can see those little blue squares to show that that's an add to the Sony Vegas Pro that does not come with Sony Vegas so you may want to have to look up for how can you get that and now I'll show you my render settings I use main composite AVC or AAC MP4 files I already have mine set up but you know you can choose whatever you want maybe you have your own settings so I just go choose that one custom now I'm not gonna uh, bother just telling you guys what I did here I'll just kinda let the click do it for me yeah that one you wanna make it 59.94 0000, zero, zero, zero because that's the best render frame settings that you can have it will make the video look way more nicer as for the audio you don't really have to switch anything it's most likely gonna be set up as what it is right now and yeah for the video settings video rendering quality you always always wanna make it best then you can put save it as your template and then after that you can just save it and start rendering which I will not do because I obviously already have it anyways I have new settings for my video um, I don't use those render settings from the video that I actually posted those that you saw just now are the ones I'm using now so yeah um, this has been Paul Legisi hope you guys enjoy my tutorial and I'll see you next time peace